from Roxbury in a live look tonight at the Hat Shell where the gates just opened moments ago for the Boston Pops rehearsal ahead of tomorrow night's big show on the 4th, of course. WBZ's Julie McDonald is there with more on the final preparations. Hey, Julie. Hey, Liam. Happy 3rd of July. And actually, any minute now, we are waiting for those gates to open and for the first few in line to start trickling in. Let's talk about crowds, though. Huge crowd here, as far as you can see. And then we can see that that line wraps around all the way down here. Lots of people dressed in their red, white, and blue, waiting patiently to get in and begin their celebrations. Now, we know uh, that there are street closures and parking bans already in effect. It's slow moving the closer that you get down here. So you are urged to utilize public transportation if planning to come down and enjoy the festivities tonight. Like major, uh, like most major events in the city, there's banned items, things you can't bring in here. Things like coolers and backpacks. It's in part to keep dangerous items from being brought into the venue, but also just to keep this huge screening process moving. A cooler or backpack with zippers obviously takes much longer to search than a clear bag or a small purse. And it's important to keep things going with crowds like this. Police estimate 100,000 people coming to the rehearsal tonight with up to 300,000 for the full event with fireworks tomorrow. Today, the colonel talked about how the visible presence of police is such a key part of keeping families and friends safe during this annual event. You'll see many troopers and, and police officers. We have our federal partners that are out there. We also have officers in, in federal law enforcement that you will not see. Uh, behavioral detection officers that we, we put in place. Um, so we do have a tethered drone. It's not uh, a piece of state police equipment, but it is going to be monitored and see what kind of addition it can, it can give to this uh, plan. Now, the colonel did say there are no credible threats at this time, but that doesn't mean complacency. Their fusion center is working closely with the Joint Terrorism Task Force, the FBI, Homeland Security. That's monitoring exactly what's happening here through hundreds of cameras, but also what's happening across the U.S. and around the world. Stay with WBZ for the latest from what's going on here as Boston gets ready to celebrate. Julie McDonald, back to you.